bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again, and welcome to French Hot Beer Reviews. I am Jeff. And I am out of focus, Scott. And I'm back. Yes, there you go. We are here with some COVID-19 sessions, both in different places, reviewing. Uh, this is from Fox Farm uh, Brewery in Salem, Connecticut. It's called Bluster. It's a new double IPA. The first one that they put out in almost a whole year. We got this one uh, last week and it was already sold out. So we're going to get this review out as soon as possible. It's 8%. Yes. And what does it have for hops? It's contained Sabro, Strata, or Strata, however you chose to pronounce it, Moteka, and Azaka. Full of good stuff. Uh, big fan of Sabro and Strata, uh, and probably Azaka and Moteka. Yeah, and uh, you just saw me displaying the can, and um, Fox Farm sticks you know, to a nice, simple... Nice little spot down there. Simple... Labels, they remind me of something you'd find at a country store. Yes. Um, a general store, a country store. I like it. It. What's in the can is what matters. So, Right. We're going to get into this. We haven't had uh, a review from this brewery in quite a while. They usually score pretty good for us. So, uh, yeah. Always been ready. a fan of it. Finger on the trigger. On three. One. Two, three. There we go. It's looking pretty similar to what I'm seeing here as on screen. A little bit lighter on screen than what I got. Hazy, bright head, mixed size bubbles. It's, uh, I have tried, I've smelt this before, but I can never place the, the odor. And I think usually I like it, though drinking they said they're trying to strike a balance between like over ripened and pithy fruit okay um i'm not sure if that's what i'm smelling but it's a very unique smell and i, I like i understand what you're saying like this is a smell i'm familiar yeah, i guess with. i can see over ripened i don't know what pithy means i'm familiar with huh? the smell but i don't know how to describe yeah. it Spongy white tissue lining the rind of an orange, lemon, or other citrus fruits. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. All right. So kind of the that tanginess. Bitter. Yeah. Like a bitter tanginess is exactly what, what we're smelling. Yeah. I get that. That's it. It's like a mm -hmm. like yeah. tangy citrus kind of thing. Oh, I almost drank it. I almost did what you usually do to me. Fucking guy. He does that all the time to me. If you've ever watched our previous videos, you know. <laughs> all the time. That, and he sneezes and he fucking yawns all the time, too. I don't think I've ever drank a beer when I wasn't supposed to. Me either. Um, what you want to know is our social media links are down below in the description. And we check we our like beers it. in with uh, untapped application, which I recommend you get. If you don't, if you're not friends with us, join us at FHBR. And when we're all done this... Uh, review we give our untapped recap scores from friends our average and the global average so stick around for that if you're interested in those kind of numbers all right it's time for us to drink this beer enough's enough cheers he didn't <laughs> cheers <laughs> yeah. i was gonna say cheers to covid beers and he just drank it I was, we just talked about it. I wasn't even thinking about it. Oh. I know. I know. I, you know what happens to me on these strata hops a lot of times? I get sweet tarts. And I got sweet tarts again on this one. Not like heavy, but it's, it's there. Do you have I get the now? pith. Yeah, it gets, you, it gets you back there a little bit. Tanginess, little tangy hops. Overall impression. 
pretty good. Not the best I've had from them, but I like the dryness of them that I get from it. Yeah, it's um, almost a little bit of like a brute, a brewed IPA dryness, like yeah, champagne, it's pretty champagne dry. almost. Um, I like this beer a lot. I think it it's got a lot of the qualities that I want in like a a big IPA, and this is pretty big at eight percent. Good mouthfeel to it. Great aroma. Flavors are there. Um, I like. This isn't a lot of like the flavors I'm tasting are. I find in a lot of newer IPAs. I keep going back to like sweet tarts, and I don't know if it's like the Sabro and Strata hops kind of been popping up a lot lately. Um, all right, we're gonna give yes. this. Uh, yeah. We're gonna give this an uh, <clears throat> untapped score now. That's okay. what we're here. That's what we're here for. I'm going to give this one, and I think you're gonna be way higher than me on this one. Probably. I'm gonna give this one a. Uh, don't look at me like that. I, I'm waiting for the three nine five. Okay. That's not bad. <laughs> It's not. Oh, for you it is. <laughs> I'm going to give this one a 4.15. Four. Four. <laughs> four <point> <laughs> okay. um, <laughs> that, that puts our average at a 4.05. <clears throat> um, so just just over a 4 for us, which is a, a very good score. Um, the Fox Farm has always had solid scores on beers for us. And it, it's been, like I said, quite a while since we had one, so... Uh, it was nice to get a hold of some beers again. We did the online ordering process, uh, which was very, very easy to do. You can also put, um, if you if you knew someone that was going to pick up, you can put their name as um, someone to pick up your order. So you don't physically have to go there, which gets rid of all that having to pay someone through PayPal or Venmo or drop off money or whatever nonsense. So that was nice. A nice feature. So I encourage you to do online pickups at breweries. A lot of them have made the process very easy uh, during the pandemic right now. So uh, support the places you like, uh, the owners of breweries you like, and spread it out a little bit too. Just, you know, don't keep going to the same place. It's, it's good for the breweries. They're, you know, they rely on tap room sales so much and talking to customers so um this is what you can do for them to help them out that's it shop local right now so that's awesome. right really like... so uh we're gonna switch over to our anyways, but... <laughs> to our untapped recap now and uh thanks for joining us if you care about more uh scores and numbers and maybe we'll shout out your name then you can stick around if not we'll see you next time see you in a few Hello again, and welcome back to the French Oil's Bear Review COVID-19 Sessions Untapped Recap for Bluster by Fox Farm Brewery in Salem, Connecticut. It's a double IPA checking in at 8% alcohol. Scott, what you got for me, buddy? I, you're just doing so well with these re, the, the lead-ins on the recaps. I got to hand it to you. Great job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jeff and I had an Next time you see me, give me a nice little... Pat in the balls. <laughs> gentle, though, gentle. Jeff, Jeff and I had an average of a 4.05. I was a 4.15. Jeff was a 3.95. Uh, no friends had checked it in yet. Uh, only 219 other check-ins so far. This beer is only like a week old, and it's already sold out. So we're going to try to get this review out right quick to you all. But 219 so far. 4.47 that's like off the charts good score so um and as i drank this like as we were checking the scores and playing with um uh text to voice uh applications that i actually like found myself enjoying the beer more could be the cumulative effect of a night of uh reviews but um 
Yeah, I, this one is tasting better to me as I go. We still got one more to go, though, buddy. Yes, we do. All right. <laughs> did you read all the scores, sir? I did. All right. Check this one out. If you like it, great. You're not going to be able to find it anytime soon anyways. So see you next time. French Rose Bear Reviews, Untapped Recap. Peace. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall. Hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Rose